Okay, we are back talking about tiered activities and assignments using Bloom's taxonomy. Remember, the taxonomy talks about different levels of thinking. There's simple burp it up types of thinking, simple use the idea kind of thinking, and then there's higher level, more complex levels of thinking. Tiered assignments is a way to differentiate the curriculum. That means you are making the curriculum different to meet the differing needs of the differing students in your classrooms. In a tiered assignment, students are presented with the same content. This could be the same chapter in a story, a book, a text, or the same level, or the same lesson. So students have the same content, but they have differing levels of activities or assignments. They are asked to manipulate that knowledge, skills, or content at a differing level. We use higher levels of thinking and lower levels of thinking. For our gifted students, we want to include higher levels of thinking. Now, if we want to differentiate for uh, higher level students, we do not want to do MOTS more the same. Simply giving students more work to do is not a way to differentiate between your higher level and your lower level students. Traditionally, that's what has been done. Susie gets all her work done, so we say, okay, Susie, you got your work done. Here's some more work for you. Pretty soon, Susie shuts down because Susie doesn't want more work to do. So think about when we are differentiating. Higher levels, more complexity, not simply more of when we differentiate for that more capable learner, that higher level learner. Bloom's taxonomy. We can use the action words to design activities and assignments at different levels. And the action words were presented in the last video as well. They are found on my websites. When you are looking at tiered activities and assignments, and I will show you an example of this, take baby steps. Start simple with one class and maybe two uh, levels at a time. Don't think you have to use tiered activities with all your assignments all the time. Find one class and maybe use two tiers or two levels. Choice. <laughs> Sometimes you're creating, you have your lesson, you create one or two or even three levels of assignments or activities. Sometimes you assign students to levels. You know your high, middle, and low uh, ability students. You assign them. You give them a card or you say so-and-so will do this one. Other times you want to give students the choice. Let them make the choice. There are times when maybe some of your lower level students want to try something higher. Or sometimes your higher level students are saying, you know, I just want to demonstrate. I'm not really into this book or this assignment. I just want to just demonstrate the basics. So, and the last thing, learning disability does not mean a thinking disability. Students can still learn. That's why we use tiered assignments to show differing levels. So students could still demonstrate their knowledge and ability, but at differing levels of complexity. All right, here's Bloom's taxonomy, lower level and higher level. I do not know that evaluation is any higher than synthesis. All this means that this gets students doing stuff with the knowledge and information. This has more to do with burp it up and apply at a basic level. And here are the action words. And again, I have a more complete list. But you see, this gives us an idea on assignments and activities. And once I understand these action words associated with blooms, I need never be dependent on a, um, uh, a teacher's activity book or a teacher's manual or a basal to give me ideas for activities and assignments and questions. I am empowered to design or create my own. So, an example of a tiered assignment for the three pigs. Describe the method the wolf used to get into the house. That's very basic, low level, number one. 
I could have some students create a story map that showed the events that happened in the story. That's comprehension. Now, we will talk in another lesson about uh, Gardner's multiple views of intelligence and how art and music and other things can and should be brought into all areas. This is an example of how you would be using artistic or visual intelligence as well. Create a one-minute mime drama that shows how the wolf tried to get the three pigs house and what happened. Right? You are applying. Use a web of comp comparison. Compare and contrast the three pigs in Little Red. Analysis. Define four elements of good story. Rate the three pigs on each element. Evaluation. Using the same story elements, rate Little Red Riding Hood and compare the two stories. Analysis. Create a happy ending to the story in which the wolf does not get hurt synthesis, all right? So if you're using tiered assignments, you would have maybe one, two, or at the most three of these on the board after reading the story or after having the lesson, and students would either be assigned one of these activities or get their choice. I showed you this at the very most simplest level so you get the idea. The Wizard of Oz. Describe one or more examples from the movie where Dorothy showed courage. Describe one or more examples from your life where you or someone else showed courage. This is a very low level, but I am also making personal connections. Movie book, personal. List five criteria for a good fantasy or fairy tale. Evaluate The Wizard of Oz on these criteria. Rate each one from one to ten. That's evaluation. What common elements do you see in the following movies? All right. That is a higher level. Lower level, higher level, students would have a choice. Tiered activities and assignments. Good idea. One of many ways to differentiate. Take baby steps as you start with this. Start with one class. Start maybe with two levels. Here is a form, a graphic organizer, if you will, that can be used to help you differentiate. A story, a lesson, a unit, key concepts, Tier 1, Tier 2, if you want to differentiate the content. Tier 1, Tier 2, if you want to differentiate the instruction. Tier 1, Tier 2, if you want to uh, differentiate the activity. And this is where tiered instruction normally falls. Tier 1, Tier 2, if you want to differentiate the assessment. Now, as I said, when we normally think of tiered instruction, all of this is the same. The only place we differentiate is here and here. Recommend starting out on two levels. If you really want to get crazy, you can bring it up to three levels. And that is the end. Basic overview using Bloom's taxonomy. This one had to do with tiered assignments.